Brothers and sisters, as you are aware, many people struggle financially and unfortunately cannot avoid getting into debt these days. Maybe you are one of them. Sometimes countries, like for example the United States, try to cancel the students' debts. There is a lot of tension between the politicians and the Supreme Court. Some people say the attempt to do that will never happen. However, a similar story did happen in today's Gospel. A king cancelled a huge debt of one of his servants, a debt that men could never repay. It was 10,000 talents. It would be equivalent to about $7 billion today. However, when the forgiven servant met his fellow servant who owned him much less than his debt to the king, he didn't show him mercy. He aggressively demanded from another servant that he would repay his debt at that very moment. When asked for more time, he didn't agree and had him thrown into prison. We learned from the story that the king heard about it and decided to punish the unmerciful servant. He handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. Saint Matthew finishes the Gospel story with quoting Jesus, and that is how my heavenly Father will deal with you unless you forgive your brothers from your heart. My dear friends, God is happy to forgive us anything. When we read the Bible, we discover that our Heavenly Father is a forgiving God and shows His mercy repeatedly to His people. For example, through the parable of the prodigal son, we learn that He wants to cancel even the biggest sins of our lives. He wants to set us free from any debt. However, there is a certain condition we must fulfill. We find it in the Lord's Prayer, which we probably say every day. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. So, we need to ask God to forgive us and we must be ready to offer our mercy to others. Think for a moment about all those people who did something bad to you or said hurtful words behind your back. You might even write down their names on a piece of paper. Ask the Lord for the grace and the strength of His Holy Spirit to be able to individually forgive them. Don't worry about negative feelings. Your decision to forgive is the most important. When you reach the point in which you will be able to say, I sincerely forgive them from the bottom of my heart, you will experience transforming power of God's presence. You will be liberated from the burden of unforgiveness and your heart will be filled with God's love. Let me conclude with St. Paul's recommendation. Avoid getting into debt. Accept the debt of mutual love. Let us apply his teaching to our daily lives and become truly loving and forgiving people of God.